Welcome to the Night Show. I'm your host, TK Diz Isaac Quicksip Aeon. Aeon, Orion, you know what you can call me, and welcome back to our nightly adventure of the Night Show. Last time, well, we did some social link confidants. Social links, they're the same thing, goddammit. I know I've probably said that, but we're just going to continue trying to call them confidants, since that's what the game refers to them, but they're basically the social links from the other games. Maxing out Yusuke's, along with some others. And progressing farther and farther into our other ones. But, now our time's almost up, and we got a game to play with out, and we need to make sure we... And now we're waiting again, basically for the 19th, since we have to do our social links at a certain time and a certain way. And we will. Since the game really just kind of tries to keep you at this point in time, so we're working on to one date. Now we have no links, but Sojuro. If you have time, you can help me prepare dinner. I feel like my bond with Sojuro will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Will you help the chief out? Help him out. All right then. Thanks, Futaba's coming to eat today, too. I'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. I'm wicked full. How was the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm gonna be. Oh, fuck. Delicious. I'm gonna be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um, did it taste the same way as you remember it? Yep. I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah. This is the first, the first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front of you when you walk. Okay. No spacing out. You ran headfirst into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your, your toe on the dresser the other day. Ah, oh, crap, it's gonna start. Make, like, make him like a leaf and ah, screw it, bye. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And what about you? I think I'm addicted. Really, I guess you have pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, there's something I should probably tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe of this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized it by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was real trouble, t let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> Was she like Futaba? You could say that. It was never cl clear what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Fuck. Wakaba rejected me time, time and time again, but there was one instant I managed to surprise her, and that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she came asking about all the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process, and then just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She had used my curry as the base, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then after Wakaba, Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I heard even smells can bring back memories too. But then that curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. It really paid off in the end. Yeah, it was like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement too. Despite how introverted she seemed, to, seemed she was extra, extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love of coffee. She figured it out just by looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not really. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with. By then... She had already had Futaba by then, after all. 
This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotion crammed inside. So um, make sure you keep the tradition going. I feel like my bond with Soldier is growing deeper. Aww. Rank five. All right. All right, that's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Futaba's waiting for me at home, too, so I should probably be heading back. Make sure you clean up before you go to bed. I can see the compassion hidden beneath Sojuro's actions. I feel my kindness growing. Sometimes I really don't get why they do a new image. Hey, it's me. You finished cleaning up? Kudaba's still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy now makes me glad that I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem that when, when she asks for it three times a day. She needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. Kudaba's still growing. Excuse me. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals, so she gets vitamins from that curry. She gets vitamins that curry can't give her. Man, the expression on Futaba's face when she took a bite of that curry. Now nah, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick with curry as the staple. But I can sneak in some veggies here and there. Huh. Guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, crap. I talk too much. See you later, I guess. Don't ask what he said. That he suddenly realized he talks too much. Oh, yes. There haven't been many reruns of historical dramas recently, have there? I wonder if the Phantom Thieves had a hand in that. Many of those shows had noble thieves. <sighs> I shame people. Given current trends, it may seen as it may be seen as insensitive. Nezu Kozo was one of the gentlemen thieves in the Edo period. According to one theory, he stole over one mil one billion yen, making him the most wanted man of the era. Now then, Kuzo Kun. He was to be paraded through the city and punished in a very particular way. How was he punished? Hmm. Let's be honest, out of all the answers here, the head on display seems like it was this is it. the best. Very good. That's right, one of the most severe punishments of the Edo period, in fact. Right before his execution, they did something to his appearance. They put light makeup and lipstick on him and made him wear a beautiful kimono. Parading around town of a well-known criminal was a sort of performance back in the day. The citizens wouldn't have been satisfied if he looked sh shabby. Wow, he got it right. Is he really a criminal? He seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying yet. They, nice they do going. have a nice welcome to Cornelia idea here, but they do keep saying the same general. <sighs> oh, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Well, at least none of them are as bad as Morgana's. Keep saying the same a goddamn line. I wonder, what will happen if those Phantom Thieves get arrested? These days, it won't be just their heads on dis Their heads that will be put on display. <sighs> People are scared. Actually, no way. People are having fun thinking about that, huh? I can't take this. How many days left until we send the calling card? Three. Well, make sure you're ready for it. Like we have a... No, we'll do shit now. And we did not go into the arcade. Who was going around at school? I'll be fine though, because I wash my hands and gargle every day. You and I both have to get stronger, and to do that, we're gonna practice. So let's train hard today. I feel like I can become closer with Shinya thanks to the tower persona Seth. I feel like my bond with Shinya will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna have Shinya teach you how to shoot? 
So you're under him. All right, we have a thorough trading session today. All right. You ready? The games are on me today, so just be sure to keep up. Do you have enough? Don't worry, I have lots of money on me today. Now, let's get to it. Get into your stance. Come on, man. You gotta no, no, too slow. Shinya is playing erratically. Hey. Give him his money back. Hmm. What the? Just ignore him. Oda, you took his lunch money, didn't you? He forced you into a battle, right? Yeah, and when I lost, he told me I owed him money. Who do you think you are? The king. Huh? Wrong. I didn't take it. I earned it. That money is for my war fund. It helped me get stronger. What the hell does that even mean? You're crazy. Just like your mom. I heard your mom was being weird at the restaurant the other day, too. A waiter caught her leaving without paying, and she said she just forgot. She even snapped at the manager and told, his, told him his employees need to be better trained. Sh shut up. My mom says that your mom is a bully. You're just like her. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm the strongest, the best, the king. You want your money back, you'll have to beat me. He's not making any sense. Somehow, some way, you're gonna pay us back. The only thing you're good at is playing games. Ugh. Huh? You're just like the bad guys in a movie. I hope the Phantom Thieves get you. Damn. No way. A bad guy, me? Really, even though I'm strong? I'm not a bad guy, am I? You're acting like one? No, I'm not. I mean, I won. I got stronger, just like the Phantom Thieves did. So how am I the bad guy? Technically, getting stronger doesn't make you a good guy or a bad guy. I guess I already knew that. I felt bad even when I was winning. I won't do it again. I don't want to be a bad guy. I believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Um, do you hate me now? I'm worried about you. No way. Sorry, I promise I won't do that again. So please don't hate me. I didn't say I hate you. I said I'm worried about you. The fan thieves are strong because they defeat strong enemies, right? Beating up on weak opponents, that's bullying. That's what bad guys do. I was wrong. Thanks, Scrooge Hassan. I wouldn't have realized this on my own. I feel Shinya's brotherly affection. Cheap shot allows you to use down shot three times during infiltration. All right. Or rank six. So now we boost. It. I'm gonna head home now. I need to think about what I did. The track machine has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm so glad you picked up. Hey, Kritzan, where did I go wrong? I just wanted to be strong like the Phantom Thieves, but somehow I turned into a bad guy without even noticing. The more I thought about everything, the more scared I got. Kritzan, are you gonna? Are you sure you ain't gonna hate? Aren't gonna hate me? I'm your big brother, right? Oh, yeah, you are. Ha ha ha! I won't make the same mistake ever again. Trust me, big brother. Whew, I feel a little better after talking to you. Thanks, Kritzu. I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you at the arcade. Ah, you're back. I see an IM. Remember what I said. Do you remember what I told you last time? It's about that man who visited the other day. It w that was Chairman Fukura. Well, I'd like to talk to you about him. Are you free today? I feel I can come closer with Shihaya thanks to the Fortune Persona Stone of Scone. I feel like my bond with Shihaya will grow stronger soon. So what do you want to do? Will you go hang out with Shihaya? Head over immediately. I'll be right there. Great. We can talk after I close up the shop. Stop by then. By then. Um. So I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting, and I wasn't completely honest with you. But I've decided I'm going to tell you ev about everything about Fukurai-san. Well, as well as the real reason I decided to leave my village. I... 
already told you how it was a small traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The, the villagers revered me as a messenger of God. But when I started, I kept predicting disasters. They started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed, a monster. So I locked myself away. People would still come by to throw stones through the windows, mm -hmm. though. Things went on like that for that for some time until one day an angry mob came and burned the house down. Damn! That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money. So I first so I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people, but that's when Fukurai-san approached me. Um. He's a psychic too, you know? He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had just come to Tokyo. Then once I told him I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join up with the ADP. That was when he gave me the moniker of the Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed a divine power to save others from misfortune. That I could become more than the monster people saw me as. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is a little running right now. I broke down the moment he said that. Haha. <laughs> Deep down, I knew all along the Holy Stones didn't have any power, but I thought I might be able to save people even though I was a monster, or perhaps because I was a monster. <laughs> the truth is, I was only a, ever selling those Holy Stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person, huh? I don't think so. What? What? My fortune said you're supposed to hate me. I never thought you would overturn even that fate, Kurtzosan. I've made up my mind. You know what, I'll, I see now how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to the truth. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for listening to me today. Nah, I skipped that line by accident. If there's anything you'll need, you need to talk about, I'll be glad to return the favor, Kutsu-san. I can sense a strong resolve from Chihaya. Special fate reading. Provide a preview of all the abilities for a confidant of your choice. Right. Don't really need that. Uh. Now that I think about it, though, just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers, but that it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a Holy Stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there, even though I'm the maiden of relief. Um. Just who is the chairman? Let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. Well, thank you again for today. Kurtzosan, please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman nor the ADP in general. So I'm thinking about doing some research on the AD, ADP first. I'm done turning a blind eye. Are you gonna be okay? Are you worried about me? <laughs> that makes me kind of happy. But yes, I'll be all right. As long as I have the trust of my clients and believers. I am the maiden of relief after all. From now on, I will see it with my own two eyes rather than through cryptic fortunes. I'll let you know if, any, if I find anything, so please promise me that you'll come by again. Now, I should be going. Hey, I've been waiting for you, Aya. You know what I'm getting at, right? We'll send the card, call card on the 18th, then carry out the plan the next day. You ready, aren't you? I've been ready. <laughs> I guess I didn't even, need, didn't even have to ask. You're reliable, but don't forget one thing. Let's have no regrets. This is our do-or-die situation. We don't have the option to fail. Alright everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully, but don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hmm. Kettle Kami has been kind enough to give us this free time, so we better put it to what good use. So what's the plan? Sleep. Yeah. I guess sleep is important for kids your age. Sleep tight. We don't really need anything else, so... I had a dream where Katawana Kami saw right through a lie I made. I'm glad that was a dream. You literally don't even talk to her. Oh, that was great. We should thank Katawana Kami for this later. Hey. 
many days left until we set the calling card? Well, make sure you're ready for it. Do we not have a link today? Oh, damn, we don't. Mm. Let's just go Saint you know, on. I don't really feel like doing mementos right now, so. All we have to do now is send the calling card. I guess we can just lay low until then. Hey, why don't we go somewhere sun? I have a special bond with on. It's good to take a break every so often. Do you want to hang out with Lady on? Hang out with her. Yeah. Mm, what should we do today? Let's have some tea. Thanks. Let's talk at the diner then. Mm, I think I'll talk more when I'm with you. It's almost like I want you to know more about me. I enjoyed a lengthy chat with Aunt. It sounds like she's enjoying her work as a model. Bye. Thanks for everything, Aeon. We'll see ya. Damn, 5%. even news anymore. I don't care about politics. Just arrest the Phantom Thieves already. We can't trust these incompetent politicians to do anything. I mean, uh, yeah, don't trust the politicians. Alright. Are you free right now? Hmm. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll hang out with a catchy. Are you free right now? Not much we can do for Saison, but wait and wait now. We're nearing the end of my tenure with the Phantom Thieves, aren't we? How about a trip to the Jazz Club Sounds? We could chat a little bit. What do you want to do? That'd be the Jazz Club he introduced you to, huh? Do you want to meet up with a catchy? Sounds good. That sounds good. Thanks. I'll see you there, shall I? You like it here? I'm so happy that I'm here talking with you again. This isn't this jazz club nice? I like how a lot of people really I like how not a lot of people really know this place, huh? Or does that sound like I'm showing off? Yes. Ah, so there was a singer here today. <laughs> it's really this is different hearing the real it really is different hearing the real thing. Delicious. It's very well made. By the way, you aware how I'm both a high school student and a detective, right? You must know I don't have much time for studying, but at these times of these, I can conveniently look up the class material online. It seems to put teachers in an awkward position, though, doesn't it? Why teach us things that we can just learn ourselves? To make sure we learn it, I chatted with Ketchy for a while. Feel a bit we talked more today. than I was expecting. I suppose the atmosphere of this place does that. Even aimlessly chatting can help you to realize certain things. It wasn't a bad experience. It looks like spending time in the jazz club has an effect on it's Kitty's heart. Change of pace. Aw, his persona leveled. I mean, we'll learn it, but we won't use it. All right. Ketchy's SP increased by 20. Yeah. I had fun today. Time I spend with you is so meaningful. Oh, and there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, sorry. It looks like I'll have to get to work. Time flies when you have fun, doesn't it? Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs> oh, now we're exactly 5%. Damn. <laughs> you don't have any books that you can, that you're in the middle of reading right now. That's too bad. I suppose we'll just have to sit quietly. Here, damn, I would hate to do that. I hate just sitting quietly. I need to do something. Today we're going over. Now then, please open your textbooks. Today we'll be learning about trigonometric 
functions. Ugh. Sine, cosine, tangent. This is where a lot of people aren't able to keep up. Why would you panic just from seeing a graph? I don't get it. A complicated formula gets condensed down to a single line. Isn't it simple and elegant? All of them have distinct shapes that stimulate the imagination. Now that Pierce are slow, take a look at these graphs. Give me an answer. Do you know the name of this graph? Your hint is snails. Coachella? Precisely. That's correct. Don't you think it looks like a bit like a like a snail shell? There are many other graphs with amusing names. For example, a devil's curve is called that because it looks like a Chinese yo-yo called a diablo. There's nothing particularly diab diabolical about it otherwise. Oh, really? Trutsu kun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Well, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Fucking A, Morgana. I should really stop keeping you in my backpack. Some people may think of math as an enemy like a devil. Eh, I can see that. I had a my last math cast was terrible. But there's research that suggests that people who excel at math have higher incomes. Fuck you! You're shooting me for a high salary? Sometimes you need to be willing to fight demons. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like fighting demons would be easier than trying to understand graphs like that. Oh, senpai! Oh. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind yeah. if I joined you for lunch? Not at all. Thank you. All right, let's head to the roof. It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Why do you ask? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite that how much people cheered on your fair. cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all. But this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, senpai? There's unfinished business. Unfinished business? So, there's something left you have to do. Yeah. Yep. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my phantom thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. I look forward to it. I am too. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, Please be careful out there. Oh, but I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Uh, but that day's when... Another day works better. Mm, I see. Rip. Come on, senpai. You need to eat too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. Ah, I mean, when you're hungry enough and there's someone preventing you from eating, I think you could technically. Hey. How many days left until we send the calling card? One. Make sure. Well, make sure you're ready for it. Who do we got? Who do we got? Come to the arcade. Come to the arcade today, so we can play. No one's here worth my time. Shinya seems to be waiting for you at the arcade. Wanna go see him? Go right away. Okay, hurry. Yep. I got a fantasy strap this time from the capsule toy in the back alley. It costs 500 yen each try, so I can only play once in a while. By the way, I learned about the Sanja festival in my, in my social studies class. 
It had a picture of a huge lantern. I didn't know stuff like that happens in the city. Oh, well, want to train? I feel like I can become closer with Shinya thanks to the Tower of Persona Seth. I don't think my bond with Shinya will deepen just yet. What are you going to do? Are you going to have Shinya teach you how to shoot? Study Hunter. Maybe I should invite him to explore Nakamai's street with me. Invite him. <laughs> wow, you really... So you know about it too. I really want to check it out. Okay, let's end training early today and head over there. Hey. Well, so many people. There's tons of foreigners here too. It's like a festival. Do you think it's like this every day? What are you going to do here, good son? I'm not interested in temples. Let's walk around and eat. Huh? Oh, really? I thought we were going to go to the temple. Ooh, I smell something good. Ah, you figured it out, right? I haven't been able to eat lunch at school lately, which Thanks. sucks. You're really nice, Gertsu-san. Thanks for bringing me here. Hey, what should we eat first? Ningo yaki dango? Let's see who can eat the most. I feel like my bond with Shinya will go stronger soon. Later. Thanks for today. See ya. Well then. Tomorrow's the day. Once you send that calling card, there's no turning back. Make sure you finish your preparations tonight. Who will we see? The ADP matter. The ADP situation is a lot tougher than I thought. I don't know what to do. Can we talk about it? I feel like I'm becoming closer with Shin Chia thanks to the fortune persona Stone of Scone. I feel like my bond with Chia, yeah, Chihaya will grow stronger soon. So what do you got? So what do you want to do? Will you go hang out with Chihaya? Talk with her. Sorry to be a bother. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> so the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. What have you found? Um. The ADP apparently doesn't profit very much from the sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they've been giving their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug, after which they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. DP, damn. The people have gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. <sighs> and, and I was a part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I don't, I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though. And those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Kurtzson? These people are heading down a path towards great ruin. There has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right, I just, I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down too. That's the only way. It looks like Shihaya is not sure how to approach this issue. She might do something rash at this rate. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. Mm. I'm the only one who can stop him, right? What is Fuku Ra's first name? Mm. Oh, the chairman? It's Yuuchi Fuku Ra. Um. Why do you ask? I can't tell you. Oh. That's strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? And so my fate remains unchanged. I'm destined to stay a monster. Hmm. I need to take care of the chairman for Chihaya. Debunking the psychic. Ooh, lovely. I'll have to think on this for a while. Let's finish for today. Good night. Well then, goodbye. Oh, was well, today the day? It kind of snuck up on me. Um, are you alright? I know you went to see him every day. How can he be gone? I feel so sick. There's still so many things I wanted to talk to him about with him. Why can't he just stay forever? What am I supposed to do now? Man, you really are a serious case, but it seems like you aren't alone. He was pop pretty popular with the girls. It's not enough for me, shit, man. It's not for me. Ah. Kutsu-san. Kutsu-kun. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Sure. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you. 
since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Oh, that's right. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you. So you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. it's um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise, anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. There are no words for how delicious this smells. Who can see this fight right now? This aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. The life of a four eyes. Which is actually funny if you remember, Joker doesn't actually need his glasses to see. They're literally just part of the personality. They really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. Congratulations. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. <laughs> What do you mean? Huh. So you're not denying it. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? 
It says, interpreting reality through a cognitive science and the authentication of reality via external influence. You know, the phantom thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of hearts you induce in your targets. Should I take your silence to mean I'm correct? To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Every time, I swear, I never see him in the scene. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. What's your game here? Hmm. Well, I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Will you rat us out? Why would I do that? I like to think of myself as someone who wouldn't sell out a person to whom I owe so much. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. I'll do my best too. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass. Never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. Now that I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. All right. And now, we got. All right. And now we confuse Vanu Mana, the most powerful persona, the Counselor Arcana. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? I'm sure of it. That's right. Intense hey. stare. 
No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. Fence lights on fire as usual. At least tomorrow is finally it. I hope everyone remembers. The date of our plan, of course we remember. That means we're sending out the calling camp or today, right? Yes, today is our only option. The police have yet to actually make a move, but I am certain we have reached our limit. We wanted to wait as long as possible to make Makoto's sister panic, right? Yes, taking that into account, today would be the best option. We can speak about speak in more detail about this after school. Alright, see y'all LeBlanc. to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? <laughs> I'm telling boss! Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on sai -san's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? I trust her with it. Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. Mm -hmm. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yup. Got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Ooh, something about this is mysterious. Okay. Today's finally the day. Tomorrow's finally the day. All that's left is carry out the operation that Makoto outlined earlier. Anyway. As long now we just need to hand it over. As long as we can get it to Nijima. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. <laughs> I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis? <laughs> I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> Makoto is the traitor. We all know it. An odd girl. We all know we can't. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. 
I yeah, we all know we can't trust the phantom someone voiced by, to me directly and by a share me leg. I mean, look, at, and <laughs> look at she voiced Lucy. Someone else? Chloe no, from Pokemon. Not. Yes. And so I many understand. other people. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. Forget about going out tonight. We need to prepare for tomorrow. Oh, and Asuna. Asuna, sorry for the wait. I believe it went well. Thanks, Makuchan. It's all going according to the plan, then. So it has finally come to this. I actually feel somewhat nervous. Don't freak out so much. You screw up all right. Don't freak out so much that you screw up. All right? You're one to talk. I ask that you guys go easy on me. Well, then, see you tomorrow. Hold on a sec. Crow, go over the operation again before you leave. It's just what we discussed earlier, is it not? This battle will decide our future. We must ensure we're fully prepared beforehand. Very well. Our objective is stealing Saison's treasure. We will meet at the courthouse at approximately 6 p.m. Good. Want to give us one last word before we go, leader? Let's go all out. We'll be relying on you. What a wonderful, trusting relationship. I will do my best in this as well. All right. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. I'll just add this. Hey, yeah, let's save. Bedtime. Tomorrow's our only chance at the treasure, so let's it's do or die. Let's knock this out of the park. Sleep. I dreamt that Shinya and I went to the beach, but I somehow ended up lost and alone at sea. I'm glad that was just a dream. Prepared? What of the calling card, Makoto? I showed it to Sis. She took it from my very own hands. Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you must...
This is nothing more than self-righteousness. All we need to do to determine who is right is bad. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games! We ain't following your damn rules! Oh, you will. There is no room for negotiation. You will know soon enough. What was that? Now, come at me! You'll save her, right? Why are you helping the traitor, Akechi? Alright, everyone. There's a reason I'm just doing the attacks. You see, we've barely done any damage. May the best player win. Bad HP. What the? Now let us play a game of roulette. The stakes will be our lives. Of course, acts of violence are forbidden here. One must follow the rules. We already told you, there's no way we're gonna follow your rules anymore. That's fine by me. Such troublesome people will just face the penalty. There's a penalty for not spinning the roulette. What should we do? <laughs> ah, so you've broken the rules. In that case, it's time you be penalized. Cheaters get punished. Doka, are you all right? What? Rude. This is the penalty? Those who cannot follow rules are not to be tolerated. That is simply how society operates. Then we can't actually do anything. Do with the bet thing. We're just gonna guard. You will predict which pocket the ball will fall into. Now, the time has come for our first round. Choose where you will place your bet. I'm almost positive she's going to try and cheat. But even if we bring that up, she'd just ignore us. We should go along with the game from now. And try to gain evidence on her methods of cheating. I agree. Predict which bucket the ball will fall into before your turn begins. Various bonuses will be applied to the enemy or your allies depending on the outcome. Greater bonuses will be given for more difficult predictions. Careful. You consider the flow of battle when determining whether you be, where, when you play, where you place your bet. How should I bet? Safer lower turn bet. Where will the bo ball fall? Red or black? A red pocket. Have you made your decision? Then let's see the results. Bitch. Have you figured anything out, Joker? I must certainly have. She doing it? There's a glass lead. You're right. It did seem like the ball floated for a split second there. How humiliating. Let's catch her in the act so she can't talk her way out of it. Have someone snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. You're in charge of choosing who's gonna be the sniper. Let us expose her treachery. You know expose her trash query. Who should I send to do it? I'll let Makoto do it. Even this gun should work. 
I'll carry this out. May the best player win. That money. The stuff displayed on the monitor changed. That must mean the betting changes every time. Active support. And as much as I want to attack her, we can't. Not yet. The sniper is in their designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well. Time to make your bet. Well, how will you uh, bet? How should I bet? A risky high return bet. Which pocket should I bet on? Mm, 13 through 24. Why not? Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. <laughs> hey now, you're a rock star. Play. What? <laughs> Joker. Hold up. Shit, she's got a gun! And that's a giant fucking sword. Sis? Cheating? Unfair! This is my world! I am the law! I am everything! No one in this world deserves to win except for me! If you still dare to defy my justice, then prepare to be totally crushed! This... It's my sister's true nature. No! We're finally back to a normal fight. Good luck, Joker. What? The roulette panel's changed? How about this? Roulette time. What are we betting? Garden tell it's time to bet. Ooh, psychic. My justice has revealed to me. I must decimate these evil minds that defy me. Take this! She might be Persona. about to use psychokinesis. Thunder Rain! No, shit, resist it. Alright, we'll make a low. Behave yourself! Concentrate! Focus! Ooh. Door to Hades! Chase my wrath! My god. Pass averted. But now we're gonna show what the power of concentrate does. Oh damn it, that's a resistance too. So. Ooh. 
But I still have this fish. And let's get rid of her resistance to fire. Yeah, oh, she had to get a one. At least. Or to Hades. Concentrate. And just to show how everything you did was pointless, heal everyone right back to full health. Minus odd, apparently. Lord Hades. Megaloda. And now, Agidine! Damn. And down she goes! And all the levels! Charge. Excuse me. Headbot. Eh. This one's better. Why would we not do charge? It makes us stronger. I'd like to try this skill soon. Hmm. Ah. Only a shadow. Why are you so quiet? <laughs> Sorry. We'll go grab the treasure. Makoto? I don't think it's wrong to bring light to evils which can't be judged by law. That's all the phantom thieves have been trying to do, too. But these aggressive investigations? Twisting the truth for your own personal gain? Please. You have to think back to the feelings you had when you first wanted to be a prosecutor. Think about your justice, sis. My justice. Try to remember how you used to be. How I... Mijima-san. She's just like my father. What caused them to change like this? Hmm. Even though their own desires were the cause, Succumbing to such distorted thoughts is strange. Is there another reason they don't know of? We found it. The investigation will now be able to proceed. The suspicions against you will be lifted as well. This deal we made was a great experience for me. To think that I, a detective, would act alongside the Phantom Thieves. Want to continue that? By no means. This shall be the end of our working together. That was part of our promise. You haven't forgotten, have you? All right, we don't need to stay here any longer. Are you all right? I am. Let's go. Huh? Enemy readings. When did they? They're gathering outside. Shit. For real? What the hell's going on? Look at those numbers. This doesn't look good. We defeated the palace ruler and even stole the treasure, yet the shadows are still restless. It doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? There are more coming? This will be dangerous if we don't do something. Huh? We need to go now. Those guys in black suits are almost here. We'll be done for if we get surrounded. Team this large would be discovered immediately. We had best split up for our escape. Although, we'll need someone to act as a decoy. 
No, that's too dangerous. Go, everyone. Joker? Are you planning on distracting them by yourself? Let him do it, Queen. He's quiet. Once his mind's made up, he's not gonna <laughs> take no for an answer. I'm sure you ain't gonna die. It's you we're talking about here. Please don't do anything reckless, okay? I'll never forgive you if you don't make it back. We still haven't fulfilled our deal, remember? Even more are coming! This truly is a painfully reluctant parting. It seems we had best hurry. We'll see you later. We all know this part. Acting like you can beat Joker. <laughs> Joker! If the bats couldn't do it, you ain't doing it. Arsene, buddy, we haven't seen you in a while. If I can find him. Ah, there we go. Let's just say Joker knows how to move and move it. Damn it. 
Up ahead, stop! This is bad, Joker, hide! You'll never get away if you just keep fighting. Hide in the shadows and sneak past when you see an opening. Are you sure he came this way? Understood, I'll continue the search. All right. Oh, now's your chance. We'll run. Uh, How many of there are there? Hmm. Everything okay? The security level might rise if you take too much time. I know, I know. I'm looking for another route. Just hang on. Oh, perfect timing. Joker, look up. Can you see? Use that thing and just fly over there. Right, just go straight through there. Joker, stop! It's an enemy right near you. Oh, shit. Even you can't take on this many. Huh? Joker, that weird reading from earlier is closing in on you too. I'll end this right now. Joker, it's her! She's the weird reading I've been getting! My weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. Oh, you think Let's so. do this, Senpai! <coughs> you know, it's always fun we get back up in a random location. Still don't get to control her. to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! Alright, let's do it! Go up the stairs at the end of the path. Just a little more, so hang in there.
Ah, oh, shit. Here? What's wrong? These readings. It can't be. What happened? An ambush? Joker, can you handle this? Joker! Oh, no! Capture him! Let's go! Go, go, go! Get out of there! Get out of Bastards. We all blame Makoto for this. We know she's the traitor. Didn't expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. Oh, the bastards. Something is highly suggested at this point, as the story will progress greatly soon. Would you like to say it now? Yes! Saving! We're in the police station! <laughs> The drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? What do you mean? You still haven't figured it out? There are no laws here to protect criminals like you. <coughs> Destruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? You should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I understand. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You prosecutor sign Nijima? There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. 
I won't be expecting much, though. Uh, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. <laughs> well done on making it this far, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. If you want to win this unreasonable game. If you wish to take back your stolen future. Recall the bonds you formed with your allies. And grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> I see. So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the Hero of Justice. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the I'm just gonna say this straight out. This is a way to get the bad ending. Sakamoto, one of the victims of the Kamoshida case. On Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil. Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki. Futaba Sakura. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. And the frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? Never heard of them. So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? There were no such people. I see. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Let's discuss one other person, Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. Might he be a part of your team too? Not Akechi. So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. I don't know a thing. Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? It goes against justice. Don't be ridiculous! You're not the one to decide <coughs> such things! Justice is on our side. Justice? Then tell me, what is this justice you speak of? Saving others. Saving others? 
What an awfully simple response. You continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? You're right. We have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. The truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. What about the true culprit? After all this, you're still... The drug is starting to wear off. Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. I won't be deceived. Deceived. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. You realized it too then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Hey. That's right, guys. Can you, you hear me? Noticed it? it seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Don't you want to win? Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. Interrogation room. That's right, if I remember. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Do you know this place? Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? If that's true, who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? Sold out. That's right, there's something I need to do. Were true in the end. Still, to think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. All right. Okay, then. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? I want to make a deal with you. <gasps> yes, very well. Go on. If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. The phone. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Show it? That's right. I'm sure Makoto and the others told you about it. We need to show it to the true culprit. You know, the traitor. Hey! What are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? Show it to the traitor. The traitor? We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. 
And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? I already told you. What do you... Oh, my God. You're referring to him, aren't you? You need to trust me. <sighs> what are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. <laughs> Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? I feel as if Sai finally understands me. Judgment, granting thee infinite power. True justice. Cooperate as a comrade who fights for justice and seeks his truth. This means jack shit, but it also means. All right. And now we can view Satan, the most powerful persona of the Judge Arcana. Ah, that's not the first time that name's gonna get brought up here. But it just basically means we're on set for the good ending. Going. And perhaps the true one. What good will this do though? A catchy gun? Why are you here? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team, after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? <gasps> they assigned you command? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. Yep. The I one that everyone predicted was actually Lee Akechi, the one everyone expected was the traitor. But I want you all to watch a little carefully just for this next part, because let's just say there's two ideas I thought with the traitor. Two theories. No, well, one theory, one idea. Excuse me? What is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. Hm. Foolish woman. May I ask that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Huh? What are you? Oh shit! I owe you for all of this. Thanks. That's right. 
You and your little friends were vital to our plan, and now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. Have you finally pieced it all together? <laughs> Case closed. This is how your justice ends. He's already dead, you bastard! is complete I've told you not to call me by name regardless all that's left is to deal with the remnants the continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much don't you think I considered making it appear they had a falling out but that would only amplify public frenzy it would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader no chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on Catching you. Faster. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Hey! No, I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat. Don't after kill a cat. All. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the special investigations unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. phone the phantom thief alibaba who is this i am alibaba a member of the phantom thieves i inquire as to your justice sai nijima how do they know i have this goro akechi is evil he didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief he came to kill him we could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment how about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> Don't trust the guard, either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to save him?
What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Ooh, yes, that means. The guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you But... You know, if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes, ma'am. And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they have detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young man. Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idle thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. And considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Huh? Goodness, look at you now! It's been a while, Ryuji! Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh, your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. What the hell is normal with Yusuke? How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. Tempted. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And your student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. <laughs> you hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. Also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. Fuck you, she still hangs out with you. Have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. <laughs> oh, God. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. 
now. Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. <sighs> it can't be. No. That's right. Yo, you thought this was the bad ending? We're done for? Joker is dead? <laughs> nope. It all went according to cake. Cake, cake. It all went according to cake. It would seem as though you have been killed. In reality, no such thing actually happened. Why did you have to die? All of this? Remember? It seems you forgot an important fact. Well, your consciousness that's what it says. All this is... Indeed, we had a plan the entire time. Death was a necessity for your Basically, we faked him out. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Well then, let us rouse the memories which are Because you see, that's what I like to say. People always said, oh, 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 the traitor's obvious. It's a catchy. There were so many hints. Like, oh, he's not. The first time I said something was off. That's right, it was during the school festival. Too much of the story, but what we never expected was the sheer fact is the actual twist with the traitor is They're going. We know exactly what's going on. You realized it too then. The fantasies had a plan the entire time. Now there's one little uh, aspect of the traitor part I ha won't bring up, the but Angels, right? There's no way Basically, the idea, there's like two that. thoughts with this trade thing. One is the whole twist was actually just kind of like a, the second Captain America. Is that something? The second Probably. Captain America? Ow. It was your social Get my table there. We met him in the hallway of that TV The station. second Captain America didn't hide the twist who the Winter Soldier was. Everyone no knows it. Almost everyone will know it's Bucky Barnes. This whole deal feels they did hide a twist in that movie. Be suspicious. Yes. Very sus. It's impossible not to think that of him. Okay. In reality, let's get everyone on the, same the twist is we, right the fantasies, knew he was the traitor from the very start. He shouldn't have said ca pancakes. There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. We really need it. Right. It's a necessity. Hmm, I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. Hmm, okay. I've got a oh, but yeah, sorry about that. Had a message. But yeah, the, the entire twist here, I say, well, one aspect of it, there might be a, another aspect. But I'll explain that part when we get to it. Of course but I did. this twist is a twist that, that, that there was a traitor, and it, who it was, who Tom was going to do something. So it's hard to talk when I wonder if it'll be okay. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> But yeah, going off on this, basically, the entire twist with the, we knew there was a traitor and we know who it was, but the very moment, so we knew who it was the entire time, place. and we had a plan. Of a course, like I said, there's another part to this, work. but I'm not going to explain it. Save that for another time. you finally remember. This game is not over yet. There are still things that must be done. My memories are starting to become clear. That's right. This is what really happened to me at the, that moment.
the Joker that was shot was actually the Shadow Joker. Basically, Sai Nijima's cognitive version of him. Would you like to save your current progress? Yes. Yes, we had a plan all along. Damn, we're down to 3% of people think we're innocent. Damn! I heard they arrested one of the Phantom Thieves. No way. I didn't expect him to commit suicide. He's a murderer. He deserved to die. We can finally breathe easy now. He killed himself, huh? I guess we'll never know his, his motivation. And that's the saddest part. I'm exhausted. I feel like my consciousness is about to fade away. Are you all right? Don't fall asleep until we reach our destination. Are you listening? Could this be the effect of the drug wearing off? The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back. Are you listening? What were we talking about? You weren't paying attention? Well, I guess I can see how you'd be lost in thought right now. Anyway, we need to talk about how to get out of this situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely Faster. different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a ploy to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill him. If we go into Sis's palace, Bastard. as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he He's the ice <laughs> user. Reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So, this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura. Then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time! The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Come on, we gotta take that bastard to catch you down. Isn't that recording we got enough proof to do it? No. Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand mastermind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect inside of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. Though once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it! So we don't got a choice but to go with that bastard's suggestion. But if we go into the palace like we're told, he'll get arrested and then Akechi will kill him! Palace. The palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding... Aha! We can use the palace to our advantage! What's this all of a sudden? There's a way. A way to get past Akechi and get the Mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity. Really? You gotta be kidding me! If he wants to kill the guy, why not let him? That is, inside of a palace. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive version, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it! It seems that's our only option. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? 
Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. <laughs> You're her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Eh, it's ancient history now. Man, that goddamn detective. Look who's here. Where the hell are you being hidden? Hey, you big bastard. How have you been? Ghostly. You're not floating. It truly is a relief to see your face. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> it was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Akechi messed up, literally. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? <laughs> True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? <laughs> yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, <laughs> sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he said something just now as well? <laughs> but you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. That would be it's insane. A in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. Uh, don't call someone a lame actor. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I really should've shut up. <laughs> Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since he was lying to <sighs> us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. This story was too good. He did approach us when we found ourselves in the worst trouble yet. Which actually seems kind of fitting. I a to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. <laughs> my heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Well, that was just that good. Proved to be a great help. That was just an act. But it fits. 
confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. God, they play that line so long. Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. <sighs> not until we get to school. Not until we get to school. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. It was a great idea. Yeah. It's good we have her heading up our operations. Makoto is normally so calm as well. But once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location... I take it you use the data from my laptop? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then 
that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand, and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Because if they removed the treasure, that would have ruined this entire plan. Be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Like I said, we had the entire situation ready. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Never messed with the original MedJab, man. Asking her about it now would just drag. Ah, fuck. Catch you disposed of the. Asking her about it now would just drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. The palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. I'm glad I didn't die. <laughs> all I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse. Albeit for a brief moment. <laughs> In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? Don't remember drugs. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> ah, that was not as funny of an answer as I thought. For such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth and that there was a greater evil to pursue As a result we emerged victorious Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes Plus you had lost control of yourself at the time This is stunning <laughs> All I can really do is laugh I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the money? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as Akechi planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, 
He would have died. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. It was a breeze. <laughs> huh. How tough are you? It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against... Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, Cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. You'll need a mm. hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Aww. Are you sure? Sojuro is best dad. I can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. We get a little more music. This place would be jiving. What a great man. Soldier is best dad. Summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press triangle to open the menu, then select story from under the system option. Aeon Kuritzel. That sounds familiar. It's me, Akashi. Enter. This one went on longer than I expected. And that's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No, nothing in particular. More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero. And I owe it okay, all Detective to the Prince, Thieves. fuck off. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> And on to our next story, the snap election for the House of Representatives. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? No, please, stop this cutscene. Well, I'm tired. The Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him. Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. He said, Shido-san. Shido? Feels like I've heard that somewhere. You really he should have. Unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh -huh. I believe he's a politician. Remember, Ryuji? You said his speech was too loud. For real? It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. 
No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public <coughs> image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this, just based on the connections I had from my previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Yeah. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic <coughs> breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? <sighs> the issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Result found. Got a hit! Well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. Hmm. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? The diet building? We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Ooh. You have to. Hell yeah! Nobody against it? Of course! He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together! Time for revenge! Then it's unanimous! All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me. What are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? We're intellectuals, you know. <laughs> That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. 
but the true battle has only just begun. We won the first Ooh. round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown. And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, mm -hmm, so. I got that out of his shadow, so technically... Which is kind of a really stupid thing the shadow said, so... I'm gonna say that director wasn't exactly the smartest guy. Stagnant. The political world is filled with old men, who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic. See, exactly so why I call him the fake detective prince, and the only real detective prince and is Naoto Shirogami. Charismatic ace detective was born. <laughs> Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket. Keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the Chosen One. 
Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, looks like things have finally settled down. Life's gonna get real busy for you starting tomorrow, right? Get some rest. Well then. Jeez, right, let's take it easy for today. And without further ado, we're actually gonna call it for the rest of the day. That's right, we're, we're ending it here today. We've been streaming, what, two and a half out, a little more than two and a half hours. This was, I'd have to say, one of our most intense episodes. Literally, I hope, you, and let's just say, things are n not getting done with us yet. We're, we're in the end game, man. We're getting towards and to towards the end. There's not much left. Left. Which also, I'll save my announcement for next episode. But, yeah. Man, we hit some beats. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed my show. Share, fav favorite, like, spread around. If you know others who will be entertained my show, send them my, my way. I'll happily entertain you all. This has been your host. And the Night Show is signing off, so I'll see you guys next time.